Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having the sun sign in Cancer and a Leo ascendant in a natal chart. Now, looking at these these two signs, they couldn't really, even though they're adjacent signs, you you couldn't these two signs really have a very uh, big disparity between the two because the sun in Cancer. Uh, is very introverted and you have uh, Leo uh, really in, in this way the antithesis of cancer very gregarious and extroverted so you might have a person that might vacillate between extroversion and introversion though the Leo ascendant will, will still in, in more often than not be more dominant at least as far as the projection of self and the outer demeanor goes and which will be shown more readily uh, to others this could be the person that may love to entertain in their home and these uh, the, the cancer characteristics may come out in a, in a very I guess you could say in a loud uh, Leo manner in a very generous or magnanimous manner and this person will often uh, not hesitate uh, to show uh, what their emotions or how they're feeling at that given time and will show a lot of courage so to speak in in, in that manner now having um, having a cancer son and Leo son we have to look at uh, the thing about the, the Sun sign represents our basic wants and the rising sign or ascendant can indicate uh, the manner or method in which one uh, attains these wants so looking at this uh, the cancer basic wants are sun and cancer basic wants are home family emotional security and it, a lot of it can be connected with emotional uh, expression and having a Leo ascendant, uh, these uh, in the manner in which one's, one attains this can be done in, in Leo like ways, and, and such as perhaps through extravagance, it could be through extravagant investing, getting that home that, that, per, that the Cancer Sun may strongly want and covet. It could be through Leo like uh, professions or vocations, it could be done through entertainment, maybe acting, maybe. Uh, through some uh, creative uh, work to some degree it could be done through some kind of performing such as on stage it could even be something where this person is like the showman it could be even in some isolated cases uh, working either like a magician or something where they are even working in the in the circus or doing something where they're commanding uh, a lot of attention uh, this person will obviously be more uh, extroverted and outgoing than the typical Sun and Cancer and not nearly as reticent uh, as the typical Sun and Cancer uh, personality and will be more readily to talk about uh, his or her own uh, accomplishments and any accolades or recognition that that may have been received uh, for for this so anyway a lot of this uh, can depend on the aspect that is made between the Sun and Cancer and the Leo Ascendant and in some cases you could have a conjunction an out of sign conjunction say for example the person has the Cancer Sun at 28 degrees and a Leo Ascendant at 2 degrees this would be an out of sign conjunction which could be intensifying and which could strongly uh, amalgamate or integrate these uh, qualities uh, together and um, another uh, aspect that can take place could be a semi sex style for example let's say somebody has the Sun in cancer at 14 degrees and a Leo ascendant at 13 degrees this could form a semi sex style aspect and this could be slightly positive or auspicious because it's not a major aspect it's a minor aspect and you could have a, a positive blending of the the cancer Sun and the Leo ascendant but not as strong as a as an actual as a sex style now speaking of the sex style uh, you can have an out of sign sex style aspect take place between these signs you could have the cancer Sun for example at three degrees and a Leo ascendant at 29 degrees and this could be auspicious and could have a very positive blending of these signs even though they're neutral by sign based on the fact they are adjacent to each other you could have a little more positive blending 
if you have a sextile aspect between the Sun and Cancer in Leo Ascendant. Now, another minor aspect can take place as well. A semi-square can take place. For example, let's say somebody has the Sun and Cancer at 10 degrees and a Leo Ascendant at 25 degrees. This could form a semi-sextile semi aspect, which could be uh, negative, and it could indicate that this person might have feelings of being misconstrued or misunderstood by others because even if the person is not cognizant or aware of these astrological placements, they may feel that they're projecting an a side of them outwardly uh, that is strongly different than what is going as their inner self is so anyway another thing to look at is the house placement of the Sun and cancer now let's say that the person has the Sun and cancer in their tenth house well even though the Leo uh, ascendant may come out more strongly than the cancer Sun the Cancer Sun uh, tendencies or characteristics may strongly go into matters connected with their career and reputation in matters with authority uh, figures. And you might see this very sensitive nurturing quality come out in these matters and maybe even a clinging uh, type manner come out as far as this goes. Now, let's say the person has the Sun in Cancer in the 11th house. Now, the cancer uh, qualities or characteristics, the, those basic wants might be strongly expressed in matters connected uh, with their friends or their, I should say, cancer characteristics come out uh, strongly perhaps with matters with friends, acquaintances, groups, organizations, and aspirations. And let's say that the sun in cancer is in the 12th house. Now, this could really be a more reticent version of Leo rising because the Sun in the 12th house coupled with the fact it's in the introverted sign cancer can be more about being behind uh, the scenes and and be uh, such where this cancer energy can come out more in solitude and seclusion and this would also be the chart ruler because Leo ascendant of course the ruler of Leo is the Sun and it would be the ruler of the first house in the 12th house so even that magnanimous that extra version might come out a little bit more when they're when they're by themselves as opposed to being around others so because the 12th house is about solitude and seclusion and it's also about introspection and it, and it could be where this person may may have may exhibit those qualities a little bit more than even the typical Sun and cancer Leo rising person well anyway people That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having the Sun in Cancer in a Leo Ascendant in a natal chart. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having the Sun in Cancer in a Virgo Ascendant in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.